Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Robbie Lawler versus Nico Price. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going Nico Price low confidence to beat Robbie Lawler. And maybe confidence could be higher. Robbie Lawler is on his way out the door, a veteran of a long, long time. He was like literally probably what well, he was on the first card that was first Zufa UFC card, you know, first card Danny White and the Fortita brothers were a part of. Like that man been around for a long time. He been a part of the UFC as long as Dana White has been a part of the UFC. Or he has been in MMA as long as Dana White has been connected to MMA. So that's a long time. A very long time when you really think about it. So yeah, Robbie Lawler at the end of his days. But it's not like Nico Price is all that good. And he is coming off a knockout loss to a guy that only had the most power. And that's me. He lost to me. He lost to me, Andre Ewell. I said, Andre Ewell, who am I? He lost to me, Philip Rowe. Actually, I'm both of these guys. I just... You know, just like in Hollywood, you know, you play multiple roles. So sometimes I, sometimes I'm Andre Ewell, sometimes I'm Philip Rowe. So both same guys. I, I could, I'm just a real good weight cutter. That's all. But anyway, he lost to me. I don't have much power like that. I, I knocked him out. So I, I would know. I know how good he is. That's why it's low comp. Like if I'm knocking you out, you should be concerned. But anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> he come over lost to me, and now he come back to get his, get um back on winning side by fighting a geriatric. Robbie Lawler. So I'm going second round Nico Price. Low confidence, but I'm going second round TKL for um, Nico Price here. Especially getting stopped by Brian Barrena. I feel like Nico Price and Brian Barrena is kind of same level. They kind of that little punching bag, middle, middle, the, you know, high middle end punching bag that the elites had to fight to get to the elite, or at least one of the fights that they fight on the way up. And he does, they do give them hard fights. Like they, they definitely don't fall down, but for the most part, they punching bags. So yeah. Probably same category as Brian Barrena. Rob Lauder probably going to look okay for a little bit. But at this age, I don't feel like he's going to wear the shots that well. I feel like it's going to be a, a dog fight. But Nico Price is going to be you know, younger and better able to endure that dog fight. So I feel like Rob Lauder going to look vintage at points. But kind of similar with the Brian Barrena fight. But once he start getting hit with some volume, they start, you know, Nico Price is in his face, constantly touching with some big sloppy, heavy shots. I feel like uh, Rob Lauder probably going to get a standing TKO the second round. It's going to be like a crazy back and forth fight because Nico Price is like just like Brian Barrena he's gonna bring he's gonna be in your face with his um toony cartoonish Scooby-Doo shaggy built body and stuff we go out there in his face <laughs> gonna be in his face you know it's constantly pressure it's not gonna be a case where Nico Price out there trying to skip and kick him at a distance like he out of sign and that's gonna be in his face swinging and just making an aggressive fight probably doing elbows doing choppy hooks. you know he's gonna be doing whatever out there you know he's a wild dude doing whatever out there spinning back hooks spinning back fists this out there just purely just been aggressive. And um, yeah, Rob Lawler's gonna fire back, have some decent uh, decent uh, moments. Baltimore again is older and this you know, has really like a 200 years old in MMA years. He's been around for a very long time, and his body is not gonna be able to take that type of pressure, that type of aggression at that rate that um, Nico Price is gonna be bringing it at this stage in his career. So I'm saying second round TKO for Nico Price. Again, Rob Lawler just gonna body is not gonna be able to take it. So in this one, I have Nico Price via second round TKO.